Hey, how's it going and welcome to another mod showcase for Stardew Valley. I know two in a row. I've never done that before, but I found some more mods that I wanted to take a look at. So I want to explain something. These uh, mod showcase episodes are going to be pretty small. Like the mods that we look at really aren't that big to make the episode long. So I apologize about that, I guess. But it's they're probably going to be about from one to ten minutes. So there's that. Anyways, first of all, the first mod we're going to be taking a look at is a mod called Camera Pan. Now, you see right here, it has, well, now you're seeing the mod because it just, it happens way too early, I think. Like, if for some reason it happens right here, I, I think it should wait until you get to the edge of the screen. But Camera Pan, panning is currently enabled. And as you see, you can keep panning the camera. It's pretty cool. You can go past your character. But there is a setting that you can go to right down here if you go to mod options, camera pan, and you can keep player on screen. And if you do this, it won't pan past the player, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and disable this because it's, uh, I don't want to keep it on while I'm showcasing the mods, but we're going to go ahead and do this. And never. So now there is no panning. Alright, so the next mod we're going to be taking a look at is a Fashion Sense mod. Yet again, use the hand mirror. And we got Fashion Sense right here. And the thing we're looking for is... Is it accessories? Yeah, baggy hoodie. Baggy hoodie with pouch. Then there's unzipped hoodie. A regular hoodie. Hoodie with pouch. Unzipped hoodie. Pull strings. Full string static and none. Then you go to hats. There's the hoods that you can pick. Hood down. So I'm guessing if you go to the back, there's some. There's a hood right there. That's pretty cool. Hood up. And is there any in shirts? No. All right. So they're the shirt part are accessories. So they go over. You can see your uh, character's uh, clothes under this still. If you, so if you go like this, I'm guessing it won't have it there. Yes. See. Now you just have the white shirt that's under the character. I look like Clint now, don't I? Except without the beard. But anyways, yeah, that's the hoodies. It's called Fashion Sense Hoodies and Hoods and Hoodies Pack. All right, so we're gonna take a look at another mod, and we're actually at the other mod. But first of all, clear, because the other mod is actually a mod that changes the farm. It doesn't just change the farm though. There is, I think, five different options that expand or is a redux version of the original farms. So you get a pick from five different farms. It doesn't replace any of the original farm maps, so you can just keep them in your game and have them forever, you know, and pick them as you play. You got... I'd, I've never played the river farm, so I don't know how expanded it is. I just chose it because it was the bottom of the list and I figured I'd pick it. But I'll show you guys the uh, thing real quick. There's a little island for this. Let's go over here. We'll explore the whole farm real quick. Go down here, we got another area. Little bush right there. Got an area right here as well. Some decorations up here, which is pretty cool. All right, if we go over here, what do we have? Oh, I'm guessing that's the exit. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the farms in just a second. Let's go ahead and go to bed so I can save my settings at least. All right, day two of spring. All right, so exit to title. And we go to new game. And over here, you click this arrow, and you got the Redux Forest Farm. It's just the Forest Farm, but a bit bigger. Don't forget to disable enemy spawns. Bigger Beach Farm. It's just the Beach Farm, just a bit bigger. Don't forget to disable enemy spawns. It's just the Wilderness Farm, but a bit bigger. It's just the Hilltop Farm, but a bit bigger. And the Expanded Riverland Farm. Very cool big Riverland Farm. Don't forget to disable enemy spawns. So those are, this is how you choose your farm. So it doesn't replace the original, which is really cool. 
Uh, it seems like they didn't do a Four Corners one. Um, I think that, no, there's actually two missing. Uh, I'm guessing there's a beach, forest, wilderness, hilltop, and riverland. Ah. So standard has not been done. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Maybe they'll add the other two. Who knows? But this is really cool. Then again, Four Corners Farm. You don't really need any more room in the Four Corners map. It's uh, pretty big itself. But anyways, let's go ahead and... Oh, all my saves came back that I was testing those on. But we know this is the one because we're wearing Clint's hoodie. Or whatever. We look like Clint. I'm just going to say it. We do. We ha we look like we're wearing Clint's outfit a little bit. Alright, so that was the... Where is it? Use Expanded Farm. UE's. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Y-U-I. U-E, I'm guessing, or U. But anyways, is this going to be another mirror? Oh, it's Willy. All right. That was Expanded Farms. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next mod, which is going to be this way. We're going to go here real quick, and we're going to change the time to 10. Because we can't actually see the next mod unless we disable that. Oh, and you're going to see some pictures of the rest of the farms at the end of the you know showcase of how you can select your farms. I forgot to mention that, but you will be able to see them. I will put a picture in the video when I edit the video and stuff, so you will get to see all of them. Let's go ahead and go into the hospital. This is hospital overhaul with functional bathroom, but look, it has a TV that actually plays stuff. That's really cool. There is a version where it replaces it with a painting. I kind of like the TV because it's kind of realistic, at least where I live. I don't know if the TV's ever that big, but yeah, look at this. This is really cool. By functional bathroom, do they mean it, um, oh, it lets you recover energy. You can just, uh, go through the door, though, so that's, uh, that's a little interesting. But this is pretty cool. This is a bathroom, or not bathroom. This is a overhaul for the hospital. So, this is really awesome. I like it. Alright, last mod we're going to be taking a look at is up here. You see this? It is called the Kids Treehouse Mod, and it just adds a treehouse, and you can check, you know, some of the items. It's the entire Adventure Boys series. X marks the spot. How old are these? And there's one up here. There's a note stuck under the table. I don't get to read it. Pop goes the weasel. But yeah, this is a mod that just adds a treehouse, though I... You, what you do, it seems like, is you walk by the tree and you press towards the tree and it lets you go up it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's going to be all the mods for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I used to show the webs, you know, the Nexus page for the mods, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to, you know, showcase the mods because that's what it's about. You can view the Nexus page or pages yourself if you go to the description below and... Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. These are some wonderful mods by some wonderful creative people. And I'll see you guys I'll see you guys next time. I still have to figure out how to do an outro for these uh, videos. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.